guys, Moink here. And uh, in a recent video, Dwayne commented that uh, he'd like to take a little closer look at uh, the old vacuum system here. This is uh, what I affectionately call my Franken-Vac because it's bone ugly and it's uh, composed of several different parts. But what this is, is uh, nothing more than a, a little uh, skateboard here that I made. I mounted four casters on the bottom. These are omnidirectional, so it really is mobile. This is, on this side here, is nothing more than a, uh, I think a five or six gallon standard shop vac. And over here is a five gallon bucket with a uh, snap-on lid with a uh, dust deputy mounted in it. You, you cut a hole in the top of the lid and bolt this du dust deputy on. And uh, the way this works is The suction comes out of the vacuum, pulls on the top of the dust deputy, and the side of the dust deputy, the vac hose, the business end of this critter, is here. And of course, you know, you can put different attachments on here. Mine's getting kind of plugged up because I, I um, vacuum too many oily things with it. So uh, the whole principle behind this dust deputy is that it um, creates a cyclonic action, uh, a whirlpool in other words, or a whirlwind, and it, it allows the, the heavier particles to drop out uh, into this bucket rather than go on through into the vac and fill the bag up. And the reason that I have got this mounted up like this is because uh, I have quite limited space in the shop here and so I wanted something that would do multiple duty. Uh, so right now I can use this. This is the standard vac hose on it. I can use this to vacuum chips off the machines as long as they aren't long and stringy because that plugs up the hose. But uh, you know, little uh, individual chips, it'll, it'll vacuum right up. Uh, oil and all. And then uh, they drop out into this bucket for easy uh, disposal. Uh, also, when I'm using my sandblaster, as you know, if you've used a sandblaster, uh, even though it's lit inside, you know, the, the dust, you know, kind of fills the cabinet up and you can't see. So uh, I hook this up on one end of my sandblaster and it sucks the dust out so I can see what I'm doing. So uh, also, um, it's used on my surface grinder and uh, it hooks on there also. And who knows in the future what other machines that I might be able to use it for, but uh, I'm quite pleased with it. We'll, we'll take a look at inside this bucket here and uh, you'll see what I mean as far as the uh, uh, disposal and uh, the, the, the chips and so forth falling in here. So I know this is a little bit redneck, uh, but I've just got this thing bungee corded on here. This bucket is just sitting on this board with three little angle pieces that kind of hold it from sliding off. And uh, this is a snap-on lid, and it just snaps off like so. And that's all the bottom side looks like. And then this uh, you just set this aside and here let me let me get the camera and I'll show you a little bit closer view here. So if you can see down in here, that's what you end up with, so it's easy to clean this thing out occasionally. I usually wait until it's a little bit heavier and I can really lift. <laughs> Okay, so that's about it for the dust vac. And I uh, hope you're watching, Dwayne, because this one's for you. Okay, on to something else.